For book one, proposition number 21 of Euclid's Elements, if on one of the sides of a triangle there be constructed two straight lines meeting within the triangle, the straight line so constructed will be less than the remaining two sides of the triangle, but will contain a greater angle. So if we start with some triangle, say the triangle ABC, and we draw two straight lines within the triangle that meet at this point here, D, then what this proof is focusing on is that if we add the side AB and AC, they will be bigger than the sides BD and DC added together. But also that this angle here, BAC, is going to be smaller than this angle here, BDC. So to start this proof, we want to first extend this line BD all the way to the line AC. And we can call this point here E. So we just created the line BE using postulate number two, which lets us extend lines as far as we wish. So now we want to use book one, proposition number 20, which says that within a triangle, if we take any two sides added together, say the side AB and AE, that these will be bigger than the third side of the triangle, this side here, BE. So let's write that down, that AE plus AB is bigger than the side BE. And we could use common notion number two, which says that if we add equals to equals, then the holes will be equal. And we'll use this to add EC to each side of this inequality. And notice that if we do this, AE plus EC is just equal to AC. So we now have that AC plus AB is bigger than BE plus EC. And from here, we can again use this book one, proposition number 20, but now on a different triangle, this triangle DEC. And we can show that the side EC plus DE would be bigger than this third side, CD. So let's write that, that the side CE plus DE is bigger than the side CD. And again, using common notion number two, we can add this time the side BD to each side of this inequality. And notice that BD plus DE is just equal to BE. So we have that CE plus BE is bigger than CD plus BD. And now notice that these two inequalities here share one side of the inequality in common, or namely this side BE plus EC is shared in both of these. And since AC and AB added together are bigger than this BE plus EC, and BE plus CE is bigger than CD plus BD, we can conclude that AC plus AB is bigger than CD plus BD. But now notice this is exactly what we sought to prove, since we have that AB and AC are bigger than BD and CD. Now that is just part of the proof. The next part of the proof is showing that this angle here is bigger than this angle here. And to do that, we need to use book one, proposition number 16, which says that the exterior angle of a triangle is bigger than either of the opposite interior angles. So in this case, let's look at this angle here, BEC, and show that it's bigger than this angle here. So this exterior angle is bigger than this interior opposite angle. And we can write that down now. So we have that the angle BEC is bigger than the angle BAC. And we'll again use this book one proposition 16 to show that this angle here, since it's exterior to this triangle here, is bigger than this angle here. So let's write that down now, that the angle BDC is bigger than the angle BEC. 
And again, this is due to prop book one, proposition number 16. And since BDC is bigger than BEC, but BEC is bigger than BAC, we now conclude that the angle BDC is bigger than the angle BAC. And this is the other item that we sought to prove, that this angle BDC is bigger than this angle BAC. So let's end this proof with QED.